pack mini router table. This is a cracking bit of kit, okay, but the great thing about this unit is, unlike any router table out there, this can be used as a normal upright router table, but there's a lip on the back, as you can see, which allows you to just hook that on the bench and use it as a horizontal router as well. What an incredible bit of kit. Two router tables for the price of one. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is the side panel here. Side panel has a rebate in it. Um, so I've drilled through there, at approximately 50 mil down. Drill through with a four mil drill bit, counterbore on the other side. Once you've got the, both of these drilled out, what you need to do next is find the front and back pieces. Flush on the table there. There's still, this is still proud of the top here and you want to be flush on the underside. Then using a three mil drill bit, drill straight into there, approximately 25, 30 mil. So, so once you drill out all four pieces, you can start to assemble. The assembly process is pretty straightforward and easy. Just screw in and screw up the four holes you got on the side there. Okay, so I've screwed this one up together. That's ready to go. Just four, four screws in each side. The top itself has got a front and a back. The back is this point here. The front, obviously this point here. Okay, so if I flip it over, you can see it's rebated. But what we need to do from here is mark off on the underside 65 mil from the front. These blocks are to support the coach bolt that goes through. Okay, so these need to go on, on the underside. All you need to do with these is glue and pin them in the correct position. As you can see, there's 65 mil from the front and 75 mil from the back. This unit's got a 10 mil overhang on the back, so that's why the difference. So now what we need to do, pick a side you want for the front, then line this up and drill four holes. I've just stepped it perhaps a little bit over, halfway, reduced slightly any chance of separating and splitting the ply. At this point here, once you've decided where to put your holes, Drill through, again, 25, 30 mil uh, in there. And then screw straight down. Okay, so now I've got a completed router table. Once that glue is set, is drill through those. So drill through from the top side. That's 8.5 millimeter diameter drill bit. I've drilled through here with a 4mm and counterboard as per usual. Okay. And then you're ready to go. Ready to add your bolts, uh, add your bar, and uh, you're ready to add a router and you're ready to go. So if we look under here, this one, this one's actually ready for two bolts through the top. There you go. At the back, you want to adjust this. You can either do it both ways at once, or you can do it that easy swan method, which is one, and then just bend the other one round. There you go, the mini router table. What a cracking bit of kit. Function as a normal router table, and also function as a horizontal router table. There's no other product on the market that can do this. Only this one. Have a nice day.